Aloha, everybody. This is Kathy Bilski, the Quantum Leap Let Light Unite show on UPR and radio. And this is January 18th, 2017, 20, oh my God, 2019. Well, we're going to do some energy work tonight and keep that light work going. Um, and definitely we're going to do some energy work on Trump and the Republican Party in the United States and how can we forget Mitch McConnell, the turtle and neutralize their evil dark works because what they're doing to this country is just absolutely, totally, completely evil. And if you can't see that um, they're definitely working for Russia and Putin, then you ain't looking and you're probably blind. But that's just how I see it. You know, these guys are very, very evil. And I wanted to talk to you, especially if people in the United States, about the federal employees that are not getting paid and they're having to work. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, this past week, it's like God has had his foot on uh, my back and pushing me forward like I really need to help these people. And I've been obsessed but then I look at them and I'm thinking, oh, my God, I can put myself in their shoes and I can imagine what it would be like to work for a full month and not get paid. And then maybe it may go on longer and then having to decide, oh, my God, you know, what gets paid, the rent, the medicine that you might need, you know, food, groceries, something for the kids, and you have to choose. Now, I can honestly say I have not ever gone a whole month without earning an income, but that doesn't mean I cannot put myself in their shoes and understand what they are going through. You know, if you are human, you are going to have empathy and feelings for these people. You know, if you've ever flown an airplane, are you going to fly? Are you thinking about flying in the future? Well, you might want to help out these people that are at the TSA or any other federal employee. And right now I heard Trump um decreed that they're not allowed to talk about their troubles. And I'm, he gags them. I mean, this man is out and out evil. And this is my truth. You can, whether you agree or not, I don't care. But to me, the man is evil. And you look at Trump's past and what he has done with every single business that he's owned. He's bought it. He's bankrupt it. And he screws his employees by not paying them. And I hate to say it, but what do you think he's doing to the United States? You know, he's bankrupting us. And by God, you know, we really don't have a uh, good credit rating on the market anymore. You know, he's a pawn of Putin. And the person that's getting hurt more, most is the little person. Like you, like me. Someone come out and said, um, well, you don't think it's hurting the 1%? And I'm thinking, oh, my God, please. Of course it's not. They've got millions and a lot of money. To, you know, this isn't hurting them. It's not like you or I where we don't have a reserve and you don't get paid and your life is going to depend on it. So, yeah. I feel for these TSA people. So for me, I really, really had to do something. So I went through my food pantry and I put together a few bags of canned goods that I had and a couple bags of uh, 25 pound bags of rice. All right, this is a stash. I live on an island. But I figure they could use it right now more than I can. And I looked at this and I went, okay, well, this is a nice start, but not enough. And I told myself, you know, I started hitting up my friends and local businesses for whatever they could donate. 
And I would just approach him and I said, look, I'm raising funds for food for the TSA. Anything you can give, food cans, they're not proud, $10, $5. People would pull out $5 and by golly, you know, that really, really added up. And I have a beautiful friend, Diana Osterman, who's now my partner in this venture. And she donated three huge bunches of bananas that were growing on her property. And the local Malama market in Honoka'a, they don donated water and soda. And Perry's Painting and Lapahoyhoy donated cash and so did the local doctor and the manager of the post office in Puilo. And the taxi company in Hilo, along with a few friends, it all added up. And it's amazing what only $125 can buy. And yeah, I will admit we did shop at Costco. And I was really, really, um, oh, careful with how I spent that money because I really wanted to buy as much as I could. And, you know, you start doing cost things. You look at, uh, you know, cans of soup, $9 for six cans. And you go over here, macaroni and cheese, you got eight, 12 boxes for $6. Macaroni and cheese one. But my little Versa was packed with food. So the TSA in Kona, Hawaii received over 50 pounds of rice. And I actually gave them quart bags, you know, the clear quart bags, the storage bags, so they can actually share that rice and divide that up into more people. Um, they got two big bags of potatoes, cases of beans and fruit and pasta and macaroni and cheese and ramen noodles and cup of noodles and bunches of bananas and lemons, soda water, along with extra bags so it would make it easier to take the food home. You know, it filled the back of my car and truthfully, I was just giddy with joy being able to stuff my car with a nice diversity of food that I knew would change a few lives. Now there are two airports on the big island of Hawaii where I live. So to be fair, you know, which one are you gonna do? I flipped a coin to see which airport would get food first and actually the Kona airport uh, won. So we drove there, Diane and I, and we found the Kona airport TSA office and chatted with the woman who was head of the TSA union. Now I couldn't help but notice how understaffed they were, but she was so happy to get the food and said in conversation a few times that there were people that just started working there that were didn't know how they were going to eat and were just too proud to ask for help, not knowing where their next meal would come from. You know, they had no money and they were working. And I don't know about you, but my heart ached for them. And I have to admit, it was really fun watching as the TSA people unloaded the car, being blown away at how much they were getting. And no, I didn't do a video because I wasn't out there to do that. I just wanted to donate from my heart. And maybe now if I would do a video, I, I would do it again um, because I could get it out there. And they need people talking about it, even uh, what they're going through even more now than ever, since Trump has put a gag order on them. God. So all these TSA people came out and they were loading the car. And truthfully, it felt like Christmas. And Diane and I were food angels. And I also kept telling them how much they, the TSA was appreciated. I fly. I'm going to fly out next month. And the month after that, I appreciate the people that are working there and I want to help them and make it as lovely as I can for them and maybe ease their minds and take off a little bit of that stress so they can perform their jobs really well. 
Now, after it was all done, you know, I did get a picture. And if you go up to my Facebook page, you'll see it. Um, as we drew, drove through the airport. Now, this was on a Thursday. And it was around 11 a.m., so it was morning. And I truthfully figured the airport would be absolutely packed. This is the main airport on the Big Island. Well, as we drove through it, I swear to God, there was hardly anybody there. You know, there was people milling around, but there were no lines. It was like a ghost airport. So like I said, if you fly, have ever flown, or thinking of flying in the future, you may want to support your local airport and the TSA. And, you know, there are other federal workers out there that are in need. They need our support. And this shutdown is not their fault. They're victims. And as far as I'm concerned, victims of a very cruel government. A reptilian government. You want to know the difference between reptilian and human? Trump is definitely reptilian. What his government is doing is definitely reptilian. What's a human moment? Helping people, loving, being kind, having empathy, going out of your way to do service work, helping others. That is human. And us humans now have got to come together like we've never have before, because definitely we are being attacked more than ever by the reptilians who are trying to destroy everything we have. And if you don't believe that, look at what Trump is doing to all the social programs in the government. They're taking away women's rights right and left. Taking away food stamps. They shut down the damn government for no reason. And I'm sorry, a wall that will not work. That's the fantasy of one friggin' man can cause all this. Ah, but we can't forget good old Mitch McConnell, the turtle. This is also on him because he will not bring it up in the Senate for a vote so we could put the country back into forward movement. Now, whose who's pocket is Mitch in? Who's blackmailing him? Russia, Trump, both? Because whatever these two men are doing, it's definitely not for the good of our country, is it? And if you think it isn't, take a look at what's happening and what's happening to people around you. Again. I live on an island, so maybe I, it, it's a little bit more personal for me than if you lived around L.A., because these people that work at these airports, they're locals. They live here. They're friends and family and neighbors that, you know, you care about, you want to help. That's the Hawaiian way. Hawaii has heart. So I'm begging you, you know, start collecting funds for food for your TSA airport. They're not going to be allowed to speak out anymore, and they're going to need our voices more than ever. And, you know, hit your friends up that are working. $5 here adds up, guys. And then go to Costco, Sam's Club, if you can, and buy in bulk. Deliver it to the TSA office. Trust me, they will be thrilled. Let them know that we really care about them and we honor them for working and being there. Now, what I've also done, because we do have another um, airport on the Big Island, I've started, started another food drive. And whatever I can collect, 
by Tuesday, I will go out to um, the other side of the island and shop at Costco because there's only one on this island and then drive all the way over to the other side of the island to de deliver it to the TSA in Hilo. This is doing service work, guys. And trust me, when you do this and you give like this, oh my God, it's gonna create so much joy. And then if you're really open and in tune, you're gonna feel all of a sudden drive down the road and you're gonna start getting teary-eyed because someone came in and saw all that food. Now, what I'm excited with, and I'm saying this because I hope this starts a movement everywhere that you live in every city. People come out of the woodwork to help these people. You know, we don't need the government to do it. We can do this. So I get to play Santa Claus one more time, food Santa Claus and Hilo. And, you know, if I have to do it again, we'll keep doing it for these people. But I'm excited because, you know, I live on, um, let's see, north, the northeast side of the island, on the north end. And now people from the other side of the island, you know, they're starting to go, oh, God, you know, I, we've got fruit trees. I know people that are growing. Well, come on, just, you know, these people aren't proud. You know, when you don't have money to buy food and somebody's going to give you fresh produce, I mean, that's like mana. So this is Hawaii. We can do that here. So, you know, just think about it. The TSA do need our support. The federal workers need our support. And if you live near a federal park, Grab some garbage bags and help clean it up because it is our park. You know, the workers aren't there, but, you know, you can give 15, 20 minutes of your time to pick up garbage. Make some effort. It's our country that Trump is destroying. And if you sit back and do nothing, you're allowing it and you're becoming complicit. And here are a few ways you can help make it better. Start a food collection drive for the TSA and take it to your local airport. Money, buy in bulk. Trust me, they'll appreciate it. Go clean up a federal park. Or whatever else you can think of doing where the federal workers are not allowed to do their job and it's hurting our country. All right, that's what I needed to say about the TSA and uh, what's happening and how we can help. Um, if you don't live in near an airport and you wanna help, um, if you live anywhere in Hawaii, you can also send a check or money order in my name, Kathy Bilski, and then just put somewhere on the check, TSA. And then I will take that and I will buy food for the local airports here, people that work at the TSA, and they will give it to people that work, that are in the TSA that aren't working. They will share. So my post office, so you do that, it's Kathy Bilski, Kathy with a C, slash T-S, Bilski, and then T-S-A on the check. Post office box 449, Pauilo, P-A-A-U-I-L-O, Hawaii, 96776. And thank you. And you know, the T-S-A will thank you. So just make some effort. Become a do-gooder, become part of the God Squad, open up your heart. Every little bit helps right now. So let's do some energy work, guys. And of course, we're gonna give energy to um, McConnell and the uh, white racist Republicans, uh, Trump, 
And we're gonna do um, finish off the evening by doing a light circle for the earth. So for those of you that are gonna participate, sit down, put your feet flat on the floor, sit up as straight as you can, put your hands in your lap like you're gonna receive. And I want you to start taking some gentle deep breaths. I want you to breathe in light and exhale out everything that no longer serves you and imagine all that unwanted energy going through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with your divine essence. So breathe in light and exhale out everything that no longer serves you and do that till I tell you to stop. So as you're doing that, I surround you in a bubble of golden flame. I add to that the blue flame of protection, the violet flame of transmutation, the green flame of healing, and I seal you in the pink flame of love. And I call to all the teachers, guides, masters, all the divine beings, the angels that work with you and invite them in to the circle that we're now forming to make this energy work for the earth um, amplified. So now I want you to imagine from the top of your head, your silver cord going up and feel it keep going up past the stars, all the planets and reconnect with the mother, father, God. And as your silver cord reconnects with the creator, feel that incredible high energy from pouring down from the top of your head, flowing out all your upper chakras, down your arms, out your hands, down your spine, down your legs, out your feet into the earth. So imagine yourself, you're in this huge stadium, biggest stadium there is, filled with light workers of like mind. And you've got people to the left, to the right, you're holding their hands. So feel this energy flow through you, down your right arm, out your right hand into the next person and feel that energy flow into a circle. And we invite all the gods and goddesses, all the people that are doing prayer work, let that energy be added. Air, earth, fire, and water, all the old ancient cultures responsible for holding light on the planet. The Aborigines, the Kahunas, the medicine men and women, the shaman. See all those divine beings sending energy into the work we're doing tonight. Now send love and light to the left. And as this energy flows to the left, the circle is now closed. So only that which is light may enter. We ask that the trees join us and send this energy into the earth through the branches, through your roots. So mother earth can remain in balance and move with divine harmony. And we're gonna put our attention on Australia and we're gonna send energy into all the trees there. And as we send energy into all those trees, see it go into their roots so they're firm and then out through their branches and reoxygenates the air. All right, now let the tree send energy out through the branches again. So also humankind and all life forms can feel this energy and react in a positive light and reoxygenate our air. We call to all the crystals, all the earth keepers on the planet, all the rock, stones, and minerals to lock in to the big earth keeper crystal that's in the center of our circle to amplify our work. We call to all the grids, ley lines, meridian stones, obelisks, pyramids, all the sacred and holy spots on the planet to lock into the circle. And I'm gonna ask Mother, Father, God that everyone receives a healing tonight and that you guide us into doing not our will, but thy will be done, so be it. All right. In your mind's eye, release um, the hands, and we're going to create bubbles of light in the center. And in the bubbles of light, um, 
we're going to put in the energy work and I want you to do some creative visualization for me while we're doing this. And you can feel that energy also at the same time because you can multitask. Flow down your arms out, your hands into the um, circle, out all your upper chakras. And if you have a crystal, go hold the crystal because it amplifies our work even more. And I'm actually sitting in my crystal store. So I have a, over a thousand pound crystal, which is the largest crystal in Hawaii. Uh, that's amplifying our work and of course all the crystals in the store so it's a big vortex all right so we're going to take a deep breath and as you exhale feel all that divine energy flow down through you creating a bubble of light and in this bubble of light we are going to put mitch mcconnell so let there be light in the name of the presence of god which i am through the magnetic power of the sacred fire vested in me i command we call the McConnell's higher self to help him step forward in the light. And if he chooses not to, which is his free will, I ask his higher self and guardian angel to put him in a position of harmlessness. I surround him in a bubble of mirror that faces him two inches from his nose. And we add the violet flame to the bubble to transmute all dark energy he puts out. So he has no forward movement. The bubble of mirror stays up 24-7, 365 days a year until he does works of good. We ask that all his works be revealed. So there's total transparency with everything he does. We ask that all his dealings with Russia and China be revealed. So there's total transparency with everything he has done and is doing. We also ask that all his satanic magic energy that is protecting him be removed from his energy field, allowing him to be removed from office. We ask that Archangel Michael tie and bind all of McConnell's energy so he does not have any forward movement, especially with any more bills that only serve the wealthy and anything he does with Trump and Russia. We call the violet flame through all his projects to transmute the energy and becoming neutral so there are no more forward movement. If anyone is blackmailing McConnell, whether it's the Russians or Trump, we're gonna ask the angels to bring that up to the surface in ways where it has to be dealt with. And it cannot be swept under the cover, um, under the carpet. We cut all ties to McConnell's oaths and vows he has taken to Satan, the wealthy and Republican Party. As that energy is removed from him, we see him being reconnected to the creator to become an awakened spiritual being who now wants to do works of good along with the desire to spend the rest of his time with his family and retire. See all of McConnell's power diminish to nothing. See his constituents get very, very, very angry at what he is doing. Really voice their opinions with McConnell. Let him not be able to have any safe place to go to, any restaurant. Let him be recognized and ostracized. Let people know let people tell McConnell, let them express their feelings and how upset they are with him and do it in a way where no one will be hurt or harmed. All right, we're going to take a deep breath and let that release. And I give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So we're going to take a deep breath and we're going to create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put in all the white male racists of the Republican Party, actually the whole Republican Party, no matter what color they are. We call the Michael the Archangel to cut all ties that the Republican Party have to Satan black magic that's keeping them in power. We cut all ties to their money sources, including Russia, the Koch brothers, the Mercer family. We send this money energy back to God to clean it up. Now let's send all those money sources back to the poor and those that are standing up to the Republicans. 
including all recall groups. We ask that these groups receive lots of donations and excited fresh volunteers to make the recall successful, replacing the Republican Party, along with Trump and all his cabinet, with a compassionate, kind, awakened spiritual being. We remove all energy veils and around all the people living in the United States that are keeping them from connecting to the creator to become awakened spiritual beings as they reconnect to the creator, see them becoming conscious beings, seeing truth and through all the lies and deceptions as transparency is manifested. See the masses filled with all kinds of divine inspiration on how to remove the Republicans, white racist and unenlightened Democrats from office through political channels, holding special elections to remove them from office, replacing them with a human being light worker filled with compassion for all life forms. We see the Republicans be recalled and removed from office now. We see the Republicans being recalled and removed from office now. We see the Republicans being recalled and removed from office now. We call the Ganesha to place many obstacles in the way of the Republicans that want to create and implement programs that are not good for Earth nor any life forms, programs that are intended to hurt and harm the poor, see them all falling apart, cut the ties between the Republicans and their need to stand behind Trump and Trump's policies, cut all ties between the Republicans and the shutdown. And whatever reasons they are being stubborn by allowing it to keep going. As people awaken, see them going to their Republican representatives, speak their minds of discontent with all their agendas. As Republicans awaken, connecting them to the creator that now allows them to see the horror that they wanted or trying to create them being inspired to correct it with compassionate love of service for others. See them now funding all social programs, Meals on Wheels, including women's health care clinics, to name the few. And if they choose to continue not to, which is their free will, to see them being removed from office and being recalled or voted out or sent to jail for their high crimes and mis misdemeanors. We cut ties to the Republicans have to the fear of women and the obsessive need to control them. Call the higher selves of all Republicans to step forward in the light. Cut all the ties, Michael the Archangel and Shiva to unbalance. Fear of women, abortion obsession, patriarchy, genocide, rape, pillage, plunder, incest, greed, power, gladiator mentality, military, war, might is right mentality from their energy field, cells, atoms, molecules, all the way down to their DNA, going through all their incarnations. As this energy is released, I call the violet flame through them and all their works that are misdirected. Cut all ties to all black art and negative ceremonies that are being done and any will to manipulate humanity and earth for greed and profit and power. As it's released, I call divine male, female consciousnesses to their hearts that will flow to the reptilian part of the brain and see their reptilian brain shutting down as their God brain is activated. Call the higher selves to guide these Republicans to release all women slaves or anyone being used as slave labor like the TSA and federal employees. Let us fill them up with divine respect for women, life, the planet, and all living things. See men's higher selves guiding them to accepting divine matriarchy and opening their heart, throat, and crown chakras. As these centers open, see them being very balanced, loving, kind, generous, peaceful, supporting women and groups that are in the light. Fill all these men with divine joy, divine mission, respecting the goddess within, and giving freedom and honor to all women. See them becoming kinder and allowing women to be equal divine conscious beings. We cut all ties to all executive orders that Trump has written and retained in the office of the Great Seal. 
We violet flame them to clean up their dark energies. Now we reconnect all the orders to the creator, command them to be neutral, no more forward movement. See all black magic giving any of his executive orders energy being canceled, cleared and neutralized, including the shutdown. We now see all Trump's executive orders being rolled back and stricken from the books. We cut all ties to Trump, Bannon, Miller, and any complicit Republican and Putin and their vision of reinventing the USA. We see this energy having all forward movement stop, also dissolved completely. See all their Nazi Putin plans falling apart. We cancel clear Trump and on the Republicans and everything they are doing for the rich and the wealthy. Seeing that being ro rolled back and stricken from the books and replaced with a tax benefit that will benefit everybody. No more forward movement. Call the higher selves of Trump and all Republicans trying to keep him in power to step forward in the light of God. Stop acting like Nazi reptilians. Leave all the social programs and citizens' rights intact and roll back all laws that hurt the mass general public. And if you choose not to, which is your free will, I ask your higher selves and guardian angels to put them all in positions of harmlessness, letting awakened spiritual beings take their place. If that means they're recalled, then May the recalls gain lots of forward movement now. Call the higher selves of law of all law enforcement to also reconnect to the creator. And as they become awakened spiritual beings, they see through Trump's plans and choose not to cooperate, siding with the people. Let them become more conscious of all the income and benefits the governor government has taken from them, choosing to become the protector of the poor standing down on all orders that is against the Constitution. Now, we also cut all addiction ties that Trump and the Republican Party has to greed, money, gold, and power. We cut all addictive ties Trump has for greed, adoration, and drive to become a dictator. Cancel, clear, cancel, clear, cancel, clear. If it's for Trump's and Republicans' highest good that their karma is returned to them now for their actions against women, the poor, the federal workers, and the planet, then let it be done, which may include loss of all money, all supporters of any kind, and all power. Let the magic of protection be removed from around them and their plans now. If it's for Trump's highest good and for the good of everyone in the USA, let them be tried for treason, be sent to prison for all his crimes, against the people of the world. Now we see Trump and his family cabinet doing jail time for their acts of treason. We see them all being removed from office in a way no one will be hurt or harmed, replaced with a compassionate humanitarian. So let's send energy out to all those re awakening Republicans standing up now for the earth and all life forms and want government shut down. Send them energy so they will speak their voices and demand that Mitch McConnell allow for a vote on the floor of the Senate and open up the government. And if Trump vetoes that, that the Senate overrides that veto. And may they be sent everything they need to be successful in opening up the government. May divine enlightenment descend on all Republicans now. May divine enlightenment awaken within all Republicans now. May divine enlightenment descend on all Republicans now. May divine enlightenment awaken within all Republicans now. May divine enlightenment descend on all Republicans now. May divine enlightenment awaken within all Republicans now. All right, so take a deep breath and release that bubble of light to manifest. And we give thanks for this opportunity to serve. 
So we're going to create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we are putting Trump and his whole family in this bubble of light. So let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power, the sacred fire vested in me, I command. We called all the crystals in Washington, D.C. area to amplify light and transparency everywhere in the Capitol. We ask the creator to remove all energy overlays that's keeping the public from seeing all the unnecessary expenses that the Trump family is creating, that the public is paying for. See the mass general public demanding Trump either stop going on his many vacation trips to any of his golf courses or pay for the trips himself, no longer using taxpayer funds. See Trump having to pay all his oops, all the funds back that he used for his vacation trips, along with his children, Ivanka, Jared. Don Jr. and Eric and his ex-wives. We ask that all veils and overlays that are protecting Ivanka and her husband, Jared Kushner, and Trump's other children, Don Jr., Eric, Ivanka, um, and of course, Trump's ex-wives and his current wife from the public's eye are removed now. Let all their plans be brought to the surface in a way that Congress and Senate take action. Strip them all of power. They've been given by Donald Trump to replace with someone with international experience. Let them be given prison time for their treasonous actions. Let there be complete transparency with all their dealings they have had with Russia. Bring it all up to the surface so nothing is hidden anymore. Remove all magical overlays of protection around Trump so there is complete transparency on how he sexually abuses women. Let's send energy to all those women Trump has sexually abused in the past and present. The energy they need to come forward to speak truth and be protected from Trump's followers. We're going to put extra protection around Nancy Pelosi. So she's protected around Cohen and Cohen's family. So they are protected. And Cohen will testify. Call the higher selves again of everyone in the United States to realize that Donald Trump and family are a national security threat. We ask that every American, I don't care whether you're Republican, Democrat, independent, or you don't vote, you need to demand that your representative, judicial and elected, stand up and insist that the Trump administration be suspended with everything they do and not allowed to go forward with anything they want to do until Mueller comes up with his findings and let Mueller be do that so it's released to the public everything we called Archangel Michael to remove all overlays of magic that is keeping the Congress and Senate from standing firm and putting Trump on presidential timeout now impeached and removed from office see the Trump administration again be suspended for and not being able to eliminate or put any new programs in action until all questions are answered. See Congress and Senate making Donald Trump show all his tax returns. See all satanic magic that's keeping the Trumps in power be neutralized. See all overlays of magic removed from Trump and his family. Any magic that's being sent by any evangelical for protection, see it all being removed from them. It's time for Trump to be impeached, removed from office, replaced with a human light worker. So we're going to fill that one up with light and love, and we're going to take a deep breath and release it. I give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So we're going to create another bubble of light, and in this bubble of light, we're going to put in all the Democrats. And as we put in all the Democrats that are in power, we're going to ask that all dark magic be removed from them. 
So they come together and work together as one unit in harmony. And they, they're divinely inspired what they need to do to make and to put Trump in a position of harmlessness. We're going to send extra energy to Nancy Pelosi. So she's given extra protection. And Ruth Beta Ginsburg, we're going to put her in this bubble of light and extra protection around her. Both of them, we're going to surround in angel light energy so they receive any healing energy that they need. And again, see all these Democrats being divinely inspired on how to move forward, how to end the shutdown. And bring the country back in balance. All right, fill that up with light and love. And we're going to take a deep breath and release it. And I give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So we're going to create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put in all the light workers, all the spiritual warriors, all the people that are standing up against Trump, the Nazis, Putin, all the people that are standing for and speaking out for the immigrant children, the migrants that are taking to the streets. Send them energy. See them all being in this bubble of light. And we want to put in there all the people that it's their, one of their missions that they're supposed to go to the street and protest. We're going to ask that they awaken and let them be divinely guided and divinely inspired on how to go and do a protest and do it in ways where no one will be hurt. So we're going to call the Ganesha, the remover of obstacles, to come forth and put yourself in this bubble of light, guys. And I want Ganesha to remove all obstacles that are put in your way so you have a clear path. And we're going to ask that you fill up with so much light that you now attract to you everything you need, divine abundance in all levels. So you fill up with so much light that you have so much abundance, so much money that you have enough to share with others and it flows in the ripple effect. And see people being taken care of. And see the light workers filling up with divine inspiration on how to fulfill their divine missions, divine purposes, and how to have very comfortable, happy lives. And see the light worker groups coming together and sharing information that helps them all move forward and be successful for the earth and the planet and all life forms. Now send all the light workers divine joy and divine bliss. And I'm going to ask the creator tomorrow to send everyone, all the light workers, something joyful, something that will really make them happy. One of their heart's desires. And when they get it, they recognize that it's, they got their heart's desire. Because remember, you're always going to get what you want, but it's not ever going to come from the direction you think it's going to come from, nor look what you like you thought it was going to look like when you got it. So keep your eyes open and be prepared. All right, let's fill this bubble up with light and love, and we're going to take a deep breath and release it. And I give thanks for this opportunity to serve. All right, so we're going to do a really quick bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put the planet Earth, 
in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine the earth rotating. Now we're gonna send a golden solar energy, call down a golden solar energy from the creator to surround the planet, to flow through the morphogenetic grid, raising the earth's energy. to cover all the grids, ley lines, meridians, domes, obelisks, pyramids. And as it covers and raises the energy of all that, those spots so people can awaken into divine enlightenment. See that energy go down into the grid lines and flow all the way around the world. And in your mind's eye, see this, the grids and the ley lines, just this bright, bright golden light of enlightenment energy flowing. And as it keeps flowing and flowing, it gets brighter and more people awaken and they start doing their divine missions. In your mind's eye, see the energy of heaven on earth just completely consuming the earth. And let all that energy go to the very heart of the earth. Into every cell, atom, molecule of the earth, helping her remember who she is, filling in any spots where she's had her minerals and gems taken from her so she may feel whole. Now expand this energy out so it just totally consumes the mother earth, neutralizes all radiation all chemicals that are inside her and helps her to remember how to move with divine intelligence.